Okay, well, just got my new R R411 helmet, carbon, R411 Pro, carbon, HJC. This thing is gorgeous. Match my gloves. And it's funny because this thing, it's, it looks smaller than my other HJC, my modular. And uh, it, it's like, a, it fits the same. That's gonna be really helpful, bro. Vent. Help it vent down here. Get this little clip thing. This thing is awesome. Also got the. I forgot about this. I got the um, Cardo Black. I had the um, the M1. Like a little, I don't know, a little cheap little system I had. It sound nice, but it was just, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll tell you, I was down the high, I ran to some other guys with Cardos, and they had the regular Cardo bolts. I looked this up, and uh, these were the best ones. So, I went with this. I ordered this Cardo, bold black, and uh, it's really nice. Step my game up, you know. Instructions. Instructions in the language. More instructions. Dang, they got ton of instructions. What else we got here? Come on out there. So this one's supposed to have. Uh, well, I think they said the regular bolt, the regular Cardos have 40 millimeter speakers. This one has 45. It's supposed to be a little bit louder. These are the speakers. More stuff. Anyway, that's what's in that box. So this Cardo system is supposed to be really good. Then I got it with the R for 11. I was going to um, get the uh, the center that goes to this helmet. It actually like screws right. The battery screws like right in there, but it's just like <laughs> I did reviews with the uh, you know against Cardo and the Cena and Cardo run one hands down. But look at this though. I waited for this and look at this little scratch right there. Can you guys see it? Look at that. I want to send this back so bad. But the three days I waited for it seemed like a month. Brand new. I just took it out the box. And it has the scratch on it. So when I put my GoPro on, I think I'm just stick it over that spot.
like something here in the box really hard though. came with it. Y'all tell me what that is in the comments. Why don't I just ask him, you know, to uh, tell me what that is just to get some feedback. And I already know what it is. Who knows? Okay. Yep, yeah, this is it though, guys. This thing is gorgeous. Let me pause this. I'm going to put the, uh, the, uh, dark, um, Visor on. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Another day, the next day. I got some riding in with this helmet. It's like totally night and day for my old helmet. And uh, I should have had my old helmet sitting over here where I can show it to y'all. But anyway, I got the uh, Cardo Black on there. I really haven't had a chance to ride with this yet because I just kind of really put it on last night. But uh, the helmet is awesome. Plenty of airflow, much quieter. I roll with this dark screen on at night, and I can still see pretty good. You know, although I would have rather had my clear one on at night, but it, it was it was manageable. So yeah, this thing is awesome. Flows plenty of air. Like I said, the weird thing about it, this thing is small. It looks smaller than my old HAC helmet, but it fits the same. You know, I, I think I have a big head, so, um, you know, I thought I would need a double X, but this is the one X, and it fits perfect. The guy from Ace, or not, uh, STG, uh, I think his name is something Vance, he said that if, you know, it has more of a, performance fit, that's true, also, uh, but I thought, like I said, I was thinking I probably need a bigger helmet. So anyway, that's just a quick update. Oh yeah, with the drag, like my other helmet, it buffers a lot, over 100, you can buffer like crazy, this one has no buffer. I wish I had my camera mic and everything um, so I could have had my, my GoPro on, but I, I have to figure out a way to get my mic to work properly. I know I'm missing something, I'll figure it out. I just got so much going on. But anyway, that's it. I'll get back with y'all later with some more material soon.